This is a championship final game one press conference featuring the Texas Longhorns, We're joined by head coach Mike White, and our student athletes are Mary Iacopo, Haley Dulcini, and Bella Dayton. Questions for our student athletes, please? Brian? Yeah, Brian Davis, Austin America Statesman. Haley, after, after Jocelyn gets that home run, things are still fine, but what, what do you think the two ground balls back to you that could have been double plays, did that maybe shake you up or shake, shake the team up more than anything else? Yeah, I mean, um, errors are costly. Mary, what did you, what'd you think of tonight, pitching as a whole, just from your vantage point? They're really freaking good. So, got to hats off to their one through nine. Back over here. Yeah, Nick Mullis, San Antonio Express News. Um, you know, Haley, I know the recipe for y'all this whole postseason's been you guys are you're loose, you're confident, you're carefree. Um, did you sense that maybe in the first inning, just just the moment was a little jittery or overwhelming just for you or for the whole team? I mean, what were y'all feeling, I guess, in that first inning? Um, yeah, I think it's just. Um, <laughs> sorry. Bella, could you answer that, please? Um, I, I didn't feel like we were tense in the first inning. You know, um, I think we actually enjoy hitting first and, and trying to, uh, to be up in the first inning, um, which for me personally, I kind of like to set the, the tone for everybody. Um, and as Haley's starting, you know, we always have her back on defense as well. Yeah, and Bella, you had those, uh, those two doubles. Um, you know, just curious, what did you see um, and why were you seeing it so well um, coming out of Hope's, you know? Um, I kind of just try to tell myself to be easy, be early. Um, and with that being said, you know, being early helps me see the rise ball a little better. Um, and hitting against her the other day, you know, I was getting under everything. So my plan was just to try and stay on top of everything, which helped me a lot this game. James. James Hale, CBS Sports Radio in Oklahoma City. Mary, I'm curious. You're, you're, you're such a great player and a great leader. Your team didn't play well tonight, or you didn't get it done. But you do have a chance tomorrow, and you got your left hander ready. Uh, what will you? How will you try to rally rally your team to get them going to play up to your level to, uh, tomorrow? Just got to remind everybody that our back's been against the wall every week we've played, and so it's just like another elimination game. Um, so go out all in. Uh, I'm a Bachelor of Sports Illustrated for any of the three of you. With the success you have had in elimination games so far this postseason, are there any particular lessons that you're carrying with you into tomorrow to kind of reset your mentality? To start with Bella, please. Um, I mean, we try and just forget what happened um, and know that tomorrow's a new day, new game. I mean, we're starting 0-0, we're starting fresh, and that we're capable of of facing anybody that that comes in our way. Haley? Yeah, um, just like she said, nothing from today carries over. So you learn from it, and you try not to make the same mistakes again. And then we just come out and play loose. I think we lost a little bit of that today. Mary? Um, just remember that the worst has already happened, um, and play carefree and loose, and that's all we can do. Right. Yeah, that's kind of what I was, was going to ask. I mean, Bella, all of y'all have been in – situations to where you play and then you got to turn around and go again what what do you do in the in the hotel tomorrow uh watch tv i don't know you know hang out goof off what what, what do you do to when the, these things have happened in, in the past i mean we do tend to, to like come together a lot and and just make sure that we all have the same kind yeah. of mindset in line um that we do forget the day before and that we know what we're capable of um I know I'm very superstitious, so, um, you know, I kind of changed things up a bit after what happened. But other than that, we still go towards our plan. You know, we watch what we've done and what we will change in the future. Anything else for our student athletes? All good. All right. Mary, Haley, Bella, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Questions for Coach White, please? Brian? Yeah, Mike. Brian Davis, Austin American Statesman. Same thing I asked Haley. I mean, Jocelyn's home run, 2-0, okay, it's fine. But did you think not getting those double plays and leaving the door open for them to make it 5-1, how 
How, how big was that? Uh, yeah, well, you know, there's turning points in the game. It was certainly one of them. I mean, you can't give them second chances, and uh, you have to make every every play you can. Uh, and we had several of those opportunities throughout the game. So, you, you know, I'm, I'm extremely proud of this team and what we've accomplished and where we're at. But, um, you know, it's it's tough right now. It's very tough for them. They, they, nobody wanted to go out and not get the job done. Um, you know, we talk about pressure in the first innings. There was a lot of pressure on them in the first innings, right? There was a load of bases that walked a run in. We get a big hit here or there. You know, things can change, but we didn't capitalize. And that's what a team that's been there and done it before with their home crowd, 12,000 strong, maybe 12 and a half yelling. Uh, it's very tough. And um, I challenge any one of you out there to come up and get out there and do that. Um, you know, so they're just young women. They're, you know, 22 max probably. Um, being put in situations where there's a lot of people looking at them, there's a lot of pressure. Um, so, you know, hopefully we learn from that. And that's what I kind of try to stress to the team was those that are coming back, what did you learn from the experience? Um, it's because it can't be for nothing. Yeah, we want to forget it and we, and we don't want to remember it, but you have to learn from it. Um, and, um, you, you know, obviously OU's had the advantage of being out here multiple times. Um, you know, for us to get better, well, we've got to kind of do the little things better than we didn't do tonight. Um, given too many opportunities, made too many mistakes with the at bats. Uh, but like Mary said, they're they're good. You know, and um, they're number. There's a reason why they've been ranked number one from day one, and and uh, still are. Here, Nicole Auerbach, the athletic. Um, Every time Jocelyn hits a home run or does something, people wonder why no one pitches to her the way she's hitting in this, this tournament. But then you see home runs from the player directly behind her, home runs in the bottom of their lineup. What is that like as the head coach trying to figure out, you know, if there are weaknesses in that lineup? Well, every hitter has a weakness. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they fail half the time, right? She's batting 5-12 now. She's went up, which is pretty tough to do, um, by the way. But, you know, she does fail half the time. and We're just not making the pitches to be able to get her out. And she's, or they're making the adjustments and knowing what we're throwing. Um, so there's a couple of ways to look at it. Um, you know, and if you look at the first time run, if you look at the replay, it hit her halfway up the handle. Um, that's a lot of power, by the way. Uh, to be able to hit a ball out like that. So can you say that's a bad pitch? Not necessarily. Um, you know, so sometimes you just got to tip your hat. It's their night. They were fired up. Um, you know, and we just got to find ways to get them out. You got to throw the timing off. Um, you know, uh, we didn't really have an off speed to do that with. Um, you know, so they were able to kind of um, really be on time and be on plane. So uh, it's, it's, it makes it very difficult. Right. Coach, uh, back in the first inning, he, he, before Oklahoma had sent 10 batters to the plate, you'd made a couple of pitching changes. Can you kind of walk through the strategy behind that? Well, obviously they had they had Haley's number, and I don't want to leave her out there to to get you know um, you know to get roughed up any more. Um, you know, she was not back down by them. I mean, you, if you look at the positive side of it, she was attacking them. Um, is that better than walking the house, you know, and then giving up a home run? Probably not. I mean, so we talked about it before. We got to challenge them. Uh, we challenged them. They won the challenge, um, and that's where it goes. But uh, so I made a pitching change and went to um, I think it was Sophia Simpson. Uh, Soph just um, you know there was some personal issues there that we had to deal with. Um, uh, you know I don't want to get into that. Um, I hope that doesn't come off the wrong way, but um, uh, she couldn't continue. And it wasn't anything she did or anything we said or anything else. She just couldn't continue um, because of health reasons, basically. Um, and so we had to make a change. And it wasn't really a change I wanted to make. Uh, but we made the change. We brought on Logan Hewlin, who did fairly well you know, for that time. And then, of course, we went to Shea O'Leary. Um, but, you know, it, it was like an avalanche. Once it starts going, it starts gathering steam. And it's hard to, hard to get it to stop. Eric, down here in front. Coach Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World. Um, Saturday we went through this with Jennings leading off the double and Allo hitting a home run, kind of the same scenario. Did you consider walking Allo uh, in this game? And then also the second part, just Tiari Jennings, can you just talk about what – we talk about Allo a lot, but what does she also bring to this lineup? Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, what about Coleman? What about – I mean, you can start going on the list here, you know, I mean, what they're doing. Um, but, you know, Jennings uh, was – 
on time the whole night. I think she had four hits, right, or something. Uh, five RBIs, <laughs> that's a pretty decent night. Um, but no, no, I mean, we've got to score runs to beat them. I mean, by walking them and just putting one more runner on, you know, they're going to they're gonna put up some numbers. They're going to put up four or five, and we've got to try to find a way to score seven. Uh, that's what just that's the way it is, you know. Uh, and we've seen Trout one enough times, but and we had her on the ropes, and then we started swinging at pitches out of the zone, you know. So our discipline was not what it needed to be, and it changed because they stuck up five on us, and that's what happens. And again, we're talking about young players. If we get experienced players out there to understand that we're still where we're at, don't, and, I, and I told them before, don't worry about what they score, worry about what we score. And we didn't do that. We, and, and I tried to calm them down and get them to relax and let the game come to them and, and force the pressure on them um, because they've seen tra uh, hope enough times, especially in the last two or three years. Uh, but we just, again, it's, it's difficult sometimes with, with young players. Ryan? Uh, Coach down in front again. Um, you mentioned having to score. If, if it is Jordy Ball tomorrow, what did you see from her – um, in studying that UCLA game versus how she kind of attacked you guys during the regular season, those two games you saw? Well, I'm not going to tell you my secrets, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that would be crazy of me to do that. But, you know, she's a, she's a great pitcher. She throws hard. You know, she's got multiple pitches. And we're just going to have to come out and, um, you know, do the best we can um, without a doubt. Any of you guys need you know, over here? Please. Yeah, Mike, you kind of mentioned it before, but, you know, this stage, Oklahoma's pretty much lived on it. Y'all, this is your first time here. Do you think even after how poorly today's game went, does just getting this out of the way sort of help them a little bit acclimate to, to being in this environment? Yes, if we learn from it. If, if we understand what happened and uh, make the adjustments, and that's what we've got to do. If we go out and we speed the game up like we did today, um, we're going to get the same result probably, you know, so... Um, again, that's going to be a learning experience for us. Um, you know, going forward as coaches, we're going to hit that with the team tomorrow and see what we can do. And then yeah. uh, were you uh, trying to just preserve Estelle for tomorrow? Looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd try. <laughs> Brian, anything you need? Anything else? Or? Good. All right. Anything else for Coach White? Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate the time. No problem.